Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we will learn how to prepare the customer reconciliation statement in Excel spreadsheet. So before I start to show you the preparation of the customer reconciliation statement, let me tell you some additional information related to this. Here, basically, there are the five steps for reconciling any statement like customer reconciliation statement, starting with the bringing the statement and ending with the calculating the closing balance of the second statement. That means we have to follow these steps. That the five steps includes the bringing the statement, deciding the false statement to follow, identifying the closing balance of the false statement, and adjusting the unique or duplicate or any error transactions in the form of aid or less, and finally calculating the closing balance of the second statement. All right. Similarly, if I talk about the debit and credit or aid or less rule under the debtor book or creditor book we can see the rule in this table. So the first one is if the debtor or our book balance is given, then the calculation should be based on the creditor's book balance. Similarly, if the creditor's or customer book balance is given, then calculation should be based on the debtor book balance. All right. And the aid and lays will be adjusted based on the profit and loss nature of the transaction. If the profit will find in debtor book, then it will add that is loss in the creditor's book. Similarly, if loss will find in debtor book, then it will less that is profit in the creditor's books, right? Similarly, we can see that here under the creditor's book, if the profit will find in the creditor's book, that then it will add that is a loss in the debtor book. And if the loss will find in creditor's book, then it will less that is profit in the debtor box. Okay. You can see here and there is an opposite relationship between the debtor account and creditors account all right and we have two additional nodes as a note number one and two the first note is under the customer reconciliation statement we maintain the debtor account and the note number two is if the first statement is start with the customer or debtor book then it will end with the vendor or creditors book Similarly, if the false statement starts with the vendor or creator's book, then it will end with customer or data book. All right. Okay. Now, based on this, the current understanding of this, you know, statement, let's start to prepare the customer reconciliation statement by taking an example. All right. Here. We have two statements that is the creditor's statement and debtor statement the creditor's statement is prepared by xyz company limited which is our customer and the debtor's account or debtor statement is prepared by our company which is abc company limited so based on these two statements we will identify the unique duplicate or any error transaction in this two statement and put in this format that is the customer reconciliation format all right under this format, we can see that we have a two sections that is the add section and list sections. In these sections, we will, you know, put the transactions based on the nature of the statement, whichever we will follow, right? And you can see that we have a gap or that is uh, this section and this section, all right? In this section, we will put the closing balance of the first statement, whichever we will select, all right? It is based on our choice. And here we will you know calculate the closing balance of the second statement or opposite statement of this statement all right so first click here and let's type the sentence balance as per customer book i'm going to use the customer book that is this one as a first statement all right and click here and put the balance closing balance of this statement so based on this statement we have one lakh rupees as a closing balance so I'm going to put the one lakh rupees and not press enter. All right. Similarly, click here and here we have to type the sentence like balance is for our book. Why? Because we uh, we have used the customer book here, right? And here the sentence will be opposite to this sentence. All right. So here I'm going to type balance as per our book. Okay, and I'll press the enter key. And for this balance, we will calculate these sections after adjusting the add or less section of this statement. All right. 
So first click here and let's identify the unique or duplicate on or any error transaction in this two statement. All right. All right. We can see we have found two unique transaction in this statement and three unique transaction in this statement. The unique transaction, any error or duplicate transactions can be identified by matching the invoice number and transactions, you know, type. Okay, starting with the opening balance. All right. So based on this process, I found these transactions. All right. Now let's adjust these transactions in this statement. So first we have the goods purchased transactions based on this invoice number 730 invoice ABC has 7370 has been over recorded by 10,000. You can see this balance is showing 20,000, but this balance is showing 10,000, right? So for this, we have to adjust this one. First, uh, let's you know interpret these transactions. That means under the debtor account, the value increases the balances of the debtor account. That means it increases the profit of the debtor accounts. And based on this, you know, we, uh, you know, rule, you can see that we have you know already discussed earlier. If the you know customer book balance is given or you know we will follow then the calculation should be based on the data book balance right so based on this you know rule we have to calculate or you know adjust the you know transaction based on this one all right so based on this one you know this balance is increases the profit okay? that's why this transaction will be put under the aid section so write the you know statements sales amount is over recorded in data book and put the invoice number abc has 730 and press the tab and I put the differential amount that is 10,000 rupees. This amount is calculated by subtracting this amount from this amount. All right. Now, our the second transaction is this one, which is that goods return. That is this this transaction is reversed or returned by 10,000 rupees, but this trans transaction is not recorded in the debtors book. That means this balance is not adjusted in this statement. That means it increases the balances of data discount, which is profit of this unit you know, statement. So for this, we have to add this transaction like goods are returned, but not recorded in data book and put the reference, reference number ABC has 730 by how much 10,000 piece you can see. All right. Now we completed this statement. Now let's move on to the debtors statement. And in this statement, we have this one, right? That means receive check by 50,000 rupees. All right. That means it decreases the balances of the debtors account. That means it, you know, it reduces the profit. And we have to follow this statement because we are, you know, going to calculate this one. So based on this, we have to list the account by 50,000 rupees. So click here and type sentence like payment is made but not recorded in the customer book and put the reference number ABC hash 722. You can see this amount is not recorded in this section. All right. By how much? 50,000 rupees. And I'll press the entry key. All right. This one and we already, you know, adjusted this transaction with this one all right now we have the final transaction is goods sold by 10000 rupees with this reference number right and this transaction is not recorded in this statement that means this balances is increases the balances of the data accounts and uh, we are you know calculating the closing balance of the data account so it increases the profit so based on the profit condition we have to add this transaction so click here and put the sentence goods are sold but not recorded in the customer book and put the reference number abc hash 731 how much 10000 rupees and a present all right now let's add all these values so for this press the equal to sign tap the sum function and now select the range from here to here and now press the close parenthesis and now press the enter key all right similarly click here and now let's add these ranges so for this press the equal to sign and i'll put the negative sign first and tap the sum function and i'll press the tab and now select the range from here to here and i'll press the close parenthesis 
and I'll press the enter key. Here I have used the negative sign to show the value in negative form. All right. Now for the balance as per you know our book, that is the closing balance as per the our book, we have to sum of all these three values. Okay. So for this, press the equal to sign, tap the sum function, and now select the select the range. This one, comma this, comma this, and now press the close parenthesis, and now press the enter key. All right. You, you can see. So we are successfully calculated the balance as per our book and uh, which is which is the you know 80,000 rupees and you can see that this balance is showing this one that means our calculation is correct when we will you know use or you know start with the you know debtors account the this balance will be shown here and this balance will be ca calculated this here all right you can see that our both closing balance are you know uh, matched with this statement all right so guys, uh, it's a very easy to calculate it and prepare it. That's all for now. If you have any query related to this, you know, topic, please ask me in the comment box below. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Signing off.